goodness. Oh, I think I just creamed in my shorts. <laughs> Am I a lucky bastard or what? I just had an R33 GTR pull into my driveway. <laughs> Holy shit. see you again man good looks a bit different the last time yeah <laughs> thanks for coming by on such short notice no problem i appreciate it i think everybody else does too <laughs> yeah so uh just as a an update basically what what all have you done to this car since we saw it last uh pretty much everything that could be it got uh new suspension new wheels uh set of bc coilovers emotion d9rs wrapped in toyo r triple eights um and then we pulled the motor out uh, HKS turbos, uh, running 18 pounds of boost now. Oh, shit. Um, HKS intake, HKS downpipe. We still left the HKS exhaust that came on the car, yeah. originally back on it. Um, pulled the head off, did a valve job, uh, slight port and polish, head studs and a head gasket. Oh, wow. um, the Apexi Power FC is what's tuning the car still. Um, custom inter Mishimoto intercooler, Mishimoto radiator upgrade, which is something we do on a lot of our cars. Yeah. We offer it to all of our customers. Um, and then custom piping with an HK super sequential blow off valve and then a water meth injection system oh my God. for about 420 horsepower oh, all nice. day, every day. Wow. So. Now you have a business where you import these cars from Japan yes. too, right? Yes, so Obsidian Automotive. We okay. do any year Japanese car um, and then 25 year old Australian cars. And we're looking wow. at doing any year Australian cars soon. So. so when I'm ready for my GTR, that R34, I know where I'm going. <laughs> I'm gonna go see this guy. Sounds good. <laughs> wow, look at this. Oh, yeah, that intercooler looks good. Yeah. problem man all right so first of all I gotta say it's really fucking weird sitting over here this is different <laughs> but it's cool I kind of like it <laughs> <laughs> it's cozy yeah I could get used to this <laughs> yep <laughs> where'd it go <laughs> oh shit don't laugh if I stall it please <laughs> I shouldn't stall it I just went over here for it. I, I've hit my hand into that door panel several times reaching for a All right. shifter. The clutch release point is high. So. Okay. So it's up top? Yeah. There you go. This is weird. <laughs> yeah, come up with this at an angle. It's... <laughs> yeah, you weren't kidding, it's up there. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. This you feel is... those pucks grab. Yeah. Alright, that's first, right? Yep. Where is it? Alright. Okay. Roasting that clutch. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> yeah, I do drive a manual. I <laughs> wouldn't be able to tell by how I'm driving this. Wow. This is wild. I'm, I'm probably like driving down the middle of the road right now too. No, you're not too bad. Though it does take some getting used to on that side of the car because you want to be closer to the center. Oh god, there's a left turn coming. 
What do I do? <laughs> I went this way because I don't think there'll be any cars. <laughs> Dude, so because so you're so you're crazy. below uh, you're below 60 kilometers an hour right now, so it still has the Hikus all-wheel steer engaged. Oh. So it helps the horrendous oh, wow. turning radius of this car. Not too much, but this is this is nuts. <laughs> wow. Alright. I'm not very strong with my left hand, I'm figuring this out. My right hand is definitely my, my shifter hand. Yeah, but it also means you can leave your right hand to steer the car. Oh, that's true. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, so basically the things I'm experiencing now is I'm starting to get used to sitting on the right side of the car. Right. And that the car needs to be on the Farther right that way than you're initially expecting. I'm getting used to the location. Of, I guess it's really not that bad. No. No. Once you get accustomed to it. The worst thing is what you'll probably do when we reach up here, which is... Whoop. Uh... <laughs> Feel free to me. I deserve it. Uh, no, when I first got when I first got the car back, I about stalled it out because it's so much different than the stock clutch. Um, but uh, <laughs> Jesus! All right, now we got lines on the road here. So the the, the, the worst thing is still by far the uh, oh. the wipers and the turn signals are reversed. So anyone that drives these cars for the first time, that's what they do. Uh, <laughs> Look at that way! Am I too far left? Oh shit, there's a car coming. Am I okay? No, you're good. Okay. You were just you were hitting the uh, the road barriers in the middle. <laughs> oh my god. This is wild. Alright, so yeah, I just went for the uh, windshield washer here. Yep. Go that way? Yep. Oh jeez. Now we're getting onto a road here with traffic. How'd I do? Good? Good. Yeah, I'm driving it like a bitch. <laughs> it's fine though. It's not my car. I don't want to wreck it. But again, you're oh, still driving a GTR, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, that's true. Wow, dude, this is... <laughs> just It's very trippy with cars coming the other direction. <laughs> and I, I don't know how fast I'm going. Uh, about every, the, the estimate is usually about every 10 kilometers is about 6 miles an hour. Okay, so if so you're doing 70 uh, kilometers an hour, it's 7 times 6 is 42 miles an hour. So we're kind of speeding a little bit. A little bit. But Not too bad. Though. It's a, it, it, it's a rough estimation. It goes off the fact that 100, mile, 100 kilometers an hour is 62 miles an hour, so it's... Wow. This is, holy shit, dude. This is cool. It's definitely a trip. So this is uh, what it's like to drive in Japan. Yeah. Well, you are on the other side of the road. Oh. So it's the same thing, but it's just reversed. Like, yeah, exactly. Or it's even more confusing at that point. Yeah. The same thing over in uh, parts parts of uh, Europe. It's, wow. You know. <laughs> this is wild. All right. So we're getting ready to go out here onto the main road. I haven't killed us or wrecked it yet, so I think I'm I'm ready for this. I think I'm gonna wait for the light. Yeah, probably a good idea just just yeah. in case. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Can I get on it a little bit? Yeah. yeah. Alright, here we go. Shifted about seven thousand. Yeah. 
this is essentially what you experience. Exactly, yeah. Shit, dude, you need to start a YouTube channel for that. <laughs> that is probably pretty damn funny. Every time I read reactions, it's, it's funny. I had a, a friend of mine who's an old Porsche enthusiast, and I let him drive this, and his reaction, when it, I let him drive back when it was stock, yeah. and his reaction was just, this is amazing. It drives, it drives like it's naturally aspirated. It's, you know, I've never driven a turbo car like this. Everything I've, turbo I've driven has been <laughs> really, really laggy. Yeah, this one's pretty bevy. Yeah. It kicks in good. And I, you know what I like too is that uh, sitting on the right hand side of the car, when you're watching the tack, I feel like it's easier. Like I can still see the road because the line is right there. Right. The tack is right there. In a way, it's kind of beneficial, I guess. Uh, I, I don't know. It's, I mean, it's, it's great until you have to go through a drive through. Oh, shit, the drive through? Uh, How do you do that? Backwards. <laughs> I did it. I was coming home uh, here from Orlando, um, I stopped at a McDonald's yeah. at like 10 o'clock at night, I backed the drive through ordered my stuff, backed up, lady hands me my stuff, and then she stops and she's like, wait, 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 why, why are you, why are you here? Why, why is your car backwards? Like, it's a right-hand drive car. Yeah. And she was like, no, no, and then just closed <laughs> the window. I was like, all right, yeah, that's, that's a reaction. Wow. This would be like what it's like pulling back in home with it. Yep. I would need to park on that side of the garage, not the left side. Dude, this is cool. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. No problem, man. <laughs> yeah. So there you have it. That was the first time I drove a right-hand drive car, and that was the first time I drove a GTR. Uh, this is definitely a monumental day. <laughs> Thank you, Kyle from Obsidian. <laughs> no problem, man. We're going to do more of that next time. <laughs> definitely.